everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. The big hit for Niji Sanji is the Koshien, uh, which is the baseball uh, collab that they do every single year. This year doesn't seem to have been doing so well. You have, well, I mean, some of them are doing really well. Shina Yuika, 116K. Um, I guess compared to, uh, this was last year. This was last year. And this year she's having less, but you have to remember, um, it seems like everybody's not doing so well. Like I've noticed that CCV has been dropping overall in general. Uh, so this may just be a sign of the times, or it may be that like, like I'm saying, you know, maybe some of the also EN stuff is hitting Nidhi Sanji pretty bad. Even Nidhi Sanji JP. Yeah, 49,520 for um, Miyamoto who returned. 56,101, 49,09, 2430. Yeah, basically from last year, 49K to 40,000. That's actually not that bad. It's not that big of a drop. That's like a, what's well, like a 20% drop? But like, it's only 9,000. I mean, only 9,000 when I, I, I say that, when I only get like two or five or whatever. But still, for a large organization, this is a big drop. So, CCV crash is largely due to the fact that Pawa Puro 2024 used for Koshien has been heavily criticized for buggy nature. So yeah, it might be the Pawa Puro thing. It might be the buggy nature of that one, as I mentioned before. Um, sad cicadas, lacking neurons, questions why their biggest content is completely dependent on another corpo. Uh, well, I mean, they can't make their own Koshien game, so that's understandable on that end. On that end, that's understandable. Two major reasons. YouTube adjusted the CCV of Japan channels recently, which I was not aware of. Apparently, they adjusted CCV of Japan channels. That is kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, like I mentioned, a lot of things have been, been changing. FYK, Pao Puro, uh, 2024 is complete rubbish. Wonder how much of this is due to the fact that people are tired of Nidhi's S or due to the fact that the game they use is Buggy Mess. Probably the game they use as a Buggy Mess has a lot to do with it. It has been universally panned as, you know, like not doing very well, at least by the Japanese viewers, by Japanese uh, people out there. So it could very well be that. Japan finally knows what's up. They're getting sick of yearly same old content from Niji when YouTube hit the anti-bot hammer. That also might be true. There might be an anti-bot hammer going on there. There's a lot of reasons why this could happen, but it is unfortunate for the talents themselves because like I always mention, I'm always a, a person who tries to support the talents themselves uh, by saying, you know, do not harass and things like that. But uh, Niji Sanji themselves are screwing over their talents. And that's one thing I don't like. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is a rumor that popped out there, an old leak. It seems to have some veracity to it, but there's no way to really verify it since I don't know the, uh, the direct um, or original place that this leak ended up from. Doki Bird is having a panel at ACGHK today and reminds me of a new leak that happened one year ago. That was 18 hours ago when this was done. A staff leaked this in Chinese Niji fan discord. Uh, for the female fans, originally we wanted to invite Selene plus Enna, but ended up changing to Millie plus Enna. So this is supposedly what they did for the Alipay hk um hong kong uh thing here which was this this was the the alipay uh actual that was last year i believe uh four nation santi em vtubers came to hong kong comic festival four vtubers will appear on the same stage at hong kong comic festival uh there is the first time in hong kong they're looking forward to meeting everyone so that's where they decided to go they decided to go with anna and millie instead of uh Selene, for whatever reason they had chinese niji fan thread discussed it but they censored the Selen part you need to refresh a few times to see all the replies the great button at the bottom this is where it hits for this year no niji invited and ali phk is sponsoring usan and shoto and doki's having her own panel so this doesn't seem like it was ali Pei hk that was forcing this upon anybody it does seem more to be related to staff I don't know having issues with Selen. as you know Selen, it was very and as doki bird is very independent she's very strong very independent does what she wants has a lot of ideas is probably had way more ideas than uh the management could handle at nidhi sanji because the nidhi sanji management seems very very limited in what they can handle they don't seem to want to handle very much so and also you know they're, they're kind of the old fogey type of stuff where you know it is uh you follow the way it's been traditionally for a long time or you get uh you know you get the hose or whatever you want to call it uh you get mistreated you get um seen as a rocking the boat person as a person who doesn't want to follow orders doesn't want to follow the uh norms or whatever of the the place that you're at the company that you're in a lot of large corporations do that but it sucks to see that even back then they it was actually staff directly that was interfering with Selene. 
You can see here, it really blocked every opportunity for Selene, huh? What I don't understand is why. That level of petty takes so much energy from so many people, and he's even touching the level of corporate BS that had to be involved too. This seems beyond stereotypical black company bullying. Yeah, it seems like someone had it out for Selene, and someone that someone was in a higher position of power, and they could actually do all these things for them, and do all these things to them, and it was just, it just seemed like a personal vendetta almost. Reminds me of that time Selen didn't get into Sanrio collab despite being really into Cinema Roll, or the other one where the JP girl didn't get invited to the Nyan Cat collab, but was dedicated enough for a half day of Nyan Cat singing stream. Uh, or recently, as you know, the Shiba Inu uh, VTuber that they have. A lot of people didn't know that they had a Shiba Inu VTuber, an actual dog VTuber with an actual dog avatar. They didn't get involved, they didn't get invited to the dog and cat days that Nidhi Sanji was doing. And they're an actual dog VTuber. Like that is just, Nidhi Sanji has something really wrong in their management. There's just so many things. Different gaming gear collabs and the gear of EN being involved. I know there are other gamers, but it's different when someone primarily known for their singing and someone else a collab that first. Not gonna lie, it was frustrating seeing the buildup of, of her being passed up for different opportunities that she explicitly stated she wanted to do while in the company. Yeah, it seemed like, like I said, like someone had a vendetta. If all this is true, if this is to be believed, so far it is a rumor because of course it's unsubstantiated. But if it is to be believed, then yeah, someone in the higher ups, as we all thought, anyone who, you know, had an idea of what was going on, thought someone up high above did not like Selene because she ruffled feathers and wanted to, I guess, teach her a lesson or whatever it is. And that's not just not right. Huge news for Callie and amazing uh, work on covers part and probably Universal Music Group had something to do with this. But still, it is holy crap. This is really big for her. She's going to be doing a performance at One Piece Day 2024. Here we have the actual announcement. Special live paid live streaming tickets can be purchased now. Enjoy the special moment from your screen. 810 Saturday. Uh, Grefern Boys, Grand Boys, Green Boys, as I guess it's Green Boys, and Mori Calliope. At 11, 811, Ado and B first. Both days, Maki Otsuki and Hiroshi, Hiro, Hiroshi Kitadani. So here we go. Hiroshi Kitadani. All of them being marked here. They're all, as you can see, Edo, Green Boys, uh, Maki Otsuki, Hiroshi Kitadani, or Otsuki, B first, and Mori Calliope. They're all there. This is huge news for her. It is, um, all it can be seen in Japan, US, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, Peru, all these areas here. So it has a large place to be seen. But if you have a VPN and you are in another country, you can use a VPN in a, to be to show yourself in any one of these countries and be uh, able to see it, of course, streamed. And here's Mori Calliope here saying, are you ready for One Piece Day 2024? Let's have a killer summer live together. Of course, people are very happy for this. I'm very happy for Kelly. She works her ass off. She works super hard to uh, get to these points. She's worked her ass off to get to where she is at the mountaintop. She creates a lot of work. She works sometimes herself to the bone, sometimes to 4 a.m. or whatever, doesn't get hardly any sleep because she's trying to keep moving forward. I try to emulate, emulate that a little bit, but, uh, you know, the TISM and the ADHD prevents me from being as crazy a uh, hard worker as she is. The grind is real, though. The grind is real, and I congratulate for this. This is a community response to what is going on. Kurosanji, of course, but it is a, still a community that loves Sayu and likes Sayu overall because they feel, of course, as is rightfully so, she has been mistreated by a lot of people. And she went recently to Shanghai. She had her trip. She talked about Noah Talents. I have that in my video, the July 27th video, the night video. I have that all that information out there about Sayu having second thoughts. And it seems like there's some things that happened in Noah NOA Talents which is the one that is being partnered with uh, Hololive and with Mythic Talent to spread into the English sphere. Uh, she saw some things there that she didn't like, that didn't seem like, uh, seemed like a lot of red flags to her. Uh, it's Talent's mostly stream on Billy Billy, but it's looking to expand to the English market. It's why they contacted established VTubers like Sayu and others. Uh, she talks about the meeting with an unnamed company that's looking to expand into the English market. While initial impression of the team was a good one, she also noticed some red flags, such as a lack of planning for foreign PR. Due to these red flags, she has decided not to partner with the company for now, for various reasons. She's doing a holding pattern. She's not fully gone. She's doing a holding pattern. She's seeing if they're going to become better, if they're going to learn from their mistakes quickly. Right now, she's holding off on fully signing. They sent her to Shanghai to talk to her and to show her, you know, what they were about and everything like that. But she saw red flags. She saw a lot of things because Sayu is very intelligent. She knows already how bad it is to have bad PR and to be hit with bad PR with no preparation. She knows how 
a large agency can do so many damaging things. And NOA Talents is no uh, innocent person when it comes to this because recently with uh, a talent that I also mentioned recently, of they slandered them in a post about why they were going to be terminated and didn't talk to them, didn't even send them a termination contract or anything of the sort. They just terminated them unceremoniously and then talked bad about them in the accuse them of many things that they do not admit to and they have actually gotten a lawyer because of that so things like that that she's seeing are making her hold off on doing these things she does still want to join a company though and she gives some insight on what she's looking for when she finally does join another company i guess summing up is a little bittersweet i know sai is disappointed things didn't pan out but i think she was probably the right decision it's a good experience overall Additionally, we have little more information on this agency for when we do launch into the EN sphere. Yeah, as I speculated in her last sad tweet, Shanghai trip did not go well. Still though, glad she is, is smart enough to pull out. She made a good choice. She's very, very, very cognizant, very aware that PR is everything in independent VTuber sphere. You do not want to be stuck to a bad company as she has had that bad experience already with Nidhi Sanji. Uh, and Noah did a Zion Selene style of termination with their latest talent. I already covered it. Like I mentioned, I covered it in a recent video. I believe it was on July 27th that I covered it. It was rough for that talent. I also talked about how it's normal in their culture to buy reviews, scream botted streams. Oh yeah, NOA Talents is known for doing that. Meaning buying some amount of views or uh, pushing your place in the leaderboards, Google Play Store, App Store for Billy Billy Streamer rankings. It's quite common and targets people who don't quite understand how the whole leaderboard systems work. So yeah, there is an issue with botting in China, it seems. While she may be sad now, it's better for her in the long run. I honestly believe this. Join a company that may be arguably worse than any color definitely wouldn't be healthy for her career. Hopefully she'll be able to do what she wants as an indie in the meantime. She's very smart. She was super smart to get a lawyer involved to begin with. She was super smart to get all that stuff involved to begin with. And it is very important that she continues on this path of protecting her brand because it's taken her a long time to create the brand that she currently has. This is more of a feel good section than anything when it comes to Toki Bird. She didn't expect to actually like dress to impress as much as she did she did not expect to have as much fun as she did that she didn't think she was going to get that absorbed in dress to impress which is a roblox game if i'm not mistaken moved into dress to impress guys dress to impress has been fucking wild what the fuck <laughs> oh god there you go she maybe got hit with that <laughs> Holy shit. the luck that she has Actually crazy. It is. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. She got that luck. She got that luck. She got that luck going. That this is the one I join in. <laughs> no. Holy shit. What, the, what are the odds though? Like, <laughs> what are the fucking odds? <laughs> the luck. The luck that Let's she has. See. Um, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, that seems that's right, right for, for a corporate VTuber, exactly yes. Right. <laughs> At least for the one that she remembers. Me. As dead inside as possible. As dead as inside as possible. So... Oof. Oh wait, Oof. wait, I'm not corp. <laughs> Shit, you're right. Wait, I'm indie. Fuck. Okay. You know what? This is well. <laughs> We're all dead inside anyway. Oh, you're right. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot. That's fun. That fun that she's having. <laughs> she's having so much fun. I love second. seeing that for Doki. I gotta figure something out. I don't fucking know. <laughs> This is what we all look like inside. Yeah, a little dead inside, yes. You're right. I'll just be like that. I'll be like, I'm the manager. <laughs> oh, good times. Let's see what you got. It is. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it is. Press some plays? These are not VTubers. That's not VTubers. That's just a corpo <laughs> person. That's just a regular IRL tuber. <laughs> just the... <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the manager. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Dead inside because of the manager, yes. Perfect. Wait, there's two of them? That's not fair. I'm fucking leaving. Fuck this, guys. I'm rebooting. This should not be last game. I can't believe there's two. That's cheating. That's corpo life. That's what happens in corpo life. They, they, they do the dirty work. They do the dirty stuff there. So, yeah. She had fun. I just want to show you guys this clip. It's a fun one. Here we have an update on Doki Bird's experience, Doki Adventure. I went to Doki's Adventure in Hong Kong at ACGHK. This person over here. It was really fun. My legs were broken after queuing up for so long, though. The main stage was packed with Dragoon standing and some... Of course, you know, the whales are going to be uh, buying all the merch bundles to get in the front row. And that's fine. That's, you know, the bread and butter of a lot of large VTubers are the whales. They are the people that can actually give for the merch bundles and things like that. That is the bread and butter. Merch 
She initially somehow muted the audio and couldn't listen to ACGHK, MC, and her panic was adorable. Overall, the event went quite short but sweet. Everyone had a great laugh. Uh, they were all laughing initially, which is quite brand, but she got serious after getting fried in pub lobby in Apex. She was trash talking and things like that, but then she got serious in Apex Legends. Yeah, she did play a bit of Apex. The audience picked two groups that bought the bundle. Two groups, in fact. The last group got top two which is very pog. She also played Simon Says with the audience. And there's a lot of fun here. She made participants bow at her. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. That's some merch, bought some merch. I think it's really good. Yeah, I mean, I saw the merch the other day. It is really good merch. You have the standee there, the, 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 you know, the eSports carnival here at Hong Kong. She's having her, her fun moment with her fans. Of course, they're having um, that little space you see in front is an emptiness. It's intentional emptiness because in a lot of these places, you do have to uh, leave something for the staff to move around in for all the organizational stuff to happen. So they have that emptiness on purpose. Also for safety of the staff. Looks like really good turnout. Also glad her adventures in Hong Kong went really well. And here is, you know, something that she mentioned here. Thank you, ACGHK, for the amazing time. This was my number one dream convention to attend. And I never thought it would be possible since I kept thinking I was not popular enough to be a guest. Again, Niji Sanji making her think that she wasn't marketable. You all proved me wrong when I saw so many Hong Kong Dragoons cheering for me. She's an expat. She's a, she's a Hong Kong expat. Of course, they're going to be very happy for her. What's that, LMAO? They have her on a very long stick. They have her head on a stick. Oh, God. They have a head on a pike. She's already been effigied. Holy crap. Thank you, Doki. It was so much fun. The whole convention was filled with laughter from you and all Dragoons. Look forward to your appearance in Hong Kong events again. And the people were saying, you know, it was very cute. Um, you know, the things that were happening there. She did a, she did a lot of good stuff there. Uh, yesterday was Singapore. Today was Hong Kong. I see more Doki Bird merch at AFACF. Then Kura Sanji today. It was the same for Hong Kong. Nah, only the official booth that sells Doki merch. I saw that Niji Sanji unofficial merch made by Niji fans though. If you want to buy Niji Sanji merch, that is what I recommend on a, on a tangent here. Any merch that you buy from directly from the, the producer, in this case, Doki will go directly to Doki and you know her employees. When it comes to Niji Sanji, 2% will go to the, the, uh, the livers and the rest goes to Niji Sanji themselves. So if you want to support your Oshi, you know, in an off chance, you know, off way, at least by, you know, getting something from your Oshi, uh, you can do it through uh, tons of the fan merchants that are out there. First stage productions, English first group of Valum will get their three day debut later in 2024. They've been, they've debuted about six months ago from what I understand. So this is very aggressive for the company to do this. It is a welcome aggressive move. As person says, for someone who de that debuted six months ago, it's quite aggressive for a company to do a 3D. Have you seen V4 Mirai and how quick the talents get 3D? The new generation having their 3D debuts this weekend, four months after debut. Based on the <clears throat> FSPJP 3Ds that have been already happened, I think this would be pretty good. So people are hoping really, really, you know, positive things happen. I mentioned, you know, V4 Mirai having their, their, their 3Ds the other day. Um, you also had other small organizations uh, doing their 3Ds. Um, you have a lot of good push for good content and rewarding their talents for doing well. Uh, Ultimate Terminal Asset, possible VTuber, yes, they're all doing it. People are really, really happy. People are ecstatic that this is happening because like I said before, very few companies have done this. This Avalum is their, their male VTuber group, their very male VTuber side, and it is amazing that they're getting it so quickly. Not even Niji Sanji does it. Not Sometimes not even Hololive does it, but Hololive's been a little bit better at it. Cause like Advent's getting their 3D about a year after. So not even large corporations do this. So for, for a small organization like this to do it for their male talents, it's pretty cool. In my opinion, it's actually pretty cool. I thank them for doing that. And you know, I applaud them for doing that. And I wish all of the talents, all the luck with getting their 2024 3d debuts welcome everybody to our 50th episode episode 50 of vtuber showcase where i showcase smaller vtubers who maybe um have been unknown for a while and need a little bit of love from everybody in the vtuber community i just try to showcase them as best i can today we are having aiden glyden who his hero name is crimson sun he has preferred pronouns of he him they're not a full-time vtuber right now they do not do any loot content they are a hero vtuber uh, a variety streamer over on Twitch and founder of the Power Ranger inspired VTuber group V Sentai. I stream all sorts of content from gaming to community based streams. If your boredom needs say slaying or saving, just remember that with immortal determination and a golden heart, I will be your favorite hero, Crimson Sun. He even has a little catchphrase. This is amazing. This is great. Uh, insert explosion here. 
Uh, gaming community, Yu-Gi-Oh! Art and community events are what they enjoy about making, uh, you know, they enjoy making that type of content. It is a niche content, like everything. Gaming is its own niche, but it's a humongous niche. Community Yu-Gi-Oh! That's great because you get community interaction between the streamer and their community, which is a wonderful way to have. Even if you have a smaller community, it is amazing to have that collaborative effort with everybody. They do stream Tuesday through Sunday, 8 p.m. CST. Unless otherwise specified, uh, <laughs> their lore, their VTuber lore, uh, is uh, that they love good storytelling, and they, you know they are that uh, VTuber, uh, the VTuber hero out there. They are willing to have collabs with everybody. They do have uh, plans to create a podcast called Behind the Mask, where I introduce community to some awesome new indie VTubers, kind of like what I do over here, and that's great. That's an amazing thing to do. I will support that however I can. Uh, feature plans for VTubing. In the in later on is getting a comic book created based on the adventures of the V Sentai, which are very superhero inspired. Only seems natural to get a comic book made. Um, any interesting experiences was featured on the Albat's indie appreciation stream. Gave me a lot of drive to continue on with content creation. I think it's important to have inspiration and something to strive for. Um, yeah, you know it's wonderful to have that type of inspiration to be shown on places like the showcase on other indie. Uh, inspiration posts, things like that. It is wonderful. And I'm glad that you had that uh, opportunity. And I'm glad to give you this opportunity. And thank you for being a part of VTuber Showcase as well. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.